This is At the Public Library, the video source for news and information about the San Francisco Public Library system. This month's show features tax time tips, a look at the new Chinatown Branch Computer Lab, and books, books, books. On Wednesday, March 19th at 7 p.m. in the main library, Coret Auditorium, the Library Foundation and the Wallace Stegner Environmental Center of the San Francisco Public Library will present Everyday Nightmares, What You Should Know About the Chemicals That Surround Your Family, the first in a series of lectures on environmental issues sponsored by the Fred Gellert Family Foundation. Actor and environmentalist Robert Redford announced the Gellert Environmental Lecture Series at a press conference held this past December in the Wallace Stegner Environmental Center of the San Francisco Public Library. The series is the first public programming to be presented by the Stegner Center. Named in honor of author and environmentalist Wallace Stegner, the center located on the fifth floor of the main library is a resource for literature and information about the natural world and the global environment. The Wallace Stegner Environmental Center of the San Francisco Public Library at the main library is the first environmental resource center housed in a public library and staffed by a librarian specializing in environmental issues. With over 2,000 books in its collection, the center seeks to merge literature, science, and politics and is dedicated to the principle that protecting the global environment requires educating people about the consequences of their actions. Speakers for the Everyday Nightmares, What You Should Know About the Chemicals That Surround Your Family lecture include Dr. John Peterson Myers, director of the W. Alton Jones Foundation and co-author of Our Stolen Future, and Dr. Gina Solomon, a physician and senior scientist of the Natural Resources Defense Council. The spring lectures of PFLAG Talks kicked off in February, and the three-part series promises to be as exciting as the fall series was. All lectures take place on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. in the main library's Corette Auditorium, and are followed by a reception with the speaker. PFLAG Talks are co-sponsored by the Bay Area Council of PFLAG, parents, families, friends of lesbians and gays, and the James C. Hormel Gay and Lesbian Center. The series began on February 5th with author educator Kevin Jennings and continues on March 26th with Simon LeVay, who speaks about his experiences as a pioneering gay neuroscientist and the author of several books, including his most recent, Queer Science. On April 30th, Mitzi Henderson, past president of PFLAG, will talk about her recent four-year term, about PFLAG, and about her own family, including her gay son. So join us for PFLAG Talks, Wednesdays, March 26th and April 30th, at 7 p.m. in the main library's Corette Auditorium. The Hormel Gay and Lesbian Center is also co-sponsoring, along with the Hastings Law Journal, the Hastings Law Journal Symposium on Lesbian, Gay, and Transgendered Issues and the Law. Three panels will address the legal issues surrounding the intersection of sexual orientation with race, class, gender, and age. The event takes place in the main library, Corette Auditorium, on Saturday, March 29th, from 9 to 5. Branch programs for adults this month include, on St. Patrick's Day, Monday, March 17th, at 7 p.m., the Sunset Branch will present two dramatic readings of Irish stories by Al Ghetto. The first reading will be A Little Cloud by James Joyce, followed by First Confession by Frank O'Connor. Irish stories with Al Ghetto at the Sunset Branch, March 17th, at 7 p.m. On Saturday, March 22nd, at 3 p.m., the Ingleside Branch will present Stories of the West, a performance of literature and true stories by Mark Kenward. And on Monday, March 24th, 7 p.m., at the Sunset Branch, join Jim Silva for a scenic travel slide talk entitled Guilin, China, 
highlighting life along the Lai River. And finally, don't miss Shanghai and San Francisco at the North Beach Branch on Tuesday, March 25th at 7 p.m. Author Bill Picklehaupt will talk about the practice of kidnapping sailors and forcing them to work on ships in 19th and 20th century San Francisco. The discussion based on Mr. Picklehaupt's book will be enhanced with a slide presentation. The Bernal Heights Branch Library invites you for two workshops aimed at helping you achieve greater success in your work life. Goal Setting Tools for Success and Happiness will begin at 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, March 18th. And How to Promote Your Business will be held at 2 p.m. on Saturday, March 29th. Both two-hour workshops are led by Maria Salomao of Armada Communications. She suggests that you bring pen and paper and a positive attitude for both these Bernal Heights Branch Library events. There's lots in store at your neighborhood branch library. For a complete listing of programs and events for adults, check out the printed version of At the Public Library, published monthly by the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library. Books, check them out. Books, check them out. Pick up a book. You got a fantasy? Imagination can take you to where you want to be. Are you curious? How can you find out? Books, check them out. Books. Check them out. Read about stars and cars, play electric guitars, or cops that work hard, patrolling the boulevard, the heavyweight champ, and as crazy as Bow. Books. Check them out. Books. Check them out. At your library. Reptiles, clowns, puppets, and much more is in store for children this month at the San Francisco Public Library. And starting this month, regularly scheduled homework assistance will be available at the Bayview, Anna E. Wadden, and the Mission Branch Libraries. Homework assistance at the Bayview Wadden Branch is available every weekday afternoon from 4 to 6 p.m. And the Mission Branch offers homework help for children in grades K through 8 every Wednesday afternoon. Please call the Mission Branch at 695-5090 for an appointment. The puppets are coming, the puppets are coming to the San Francisco Public Library with four great puppet programs this month funded by the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library. First, the Park Branch will present non-verbal puppetry and clowning for all ages with Two Two Tomato on Saturday, March 8th at 3 p.m. Then on Saturday, March 22nd at 11.15 a.m., the West Portal Branch will host Roger Mara's Snapdragon Puppets with a presentation of the three little pigs done the Snapdragon Puppet way. And last but not least, Linda Zittle and the Magic Window Puppets will perform on Thursday, March 27th at two branch libraries, the Eureka Valley Harvey Milk Memorial Branch at 10.30 a.m. and the Anza Branch at 3 p.m. Come celebrate St. Patrick's Day with the Healy Irish Dancers, who will perform at the Mission Branch on Saturday, March 15th at 12 noon. Children three to five years of age are invited to the Chinatown Branch to meet Annie the Clown on Thursday, March 20th at 10 a.m. Ooh, and those reptiles I mentioned earlier, well, they're going to pay a visit to the main library with their friend Kathy from the SPCA on Friday, March 14th at 4 p.m. The San Francisco Public Library presents a large assortment of regularly scheduled children's programs, including film programs, story times, lapsit programs for infants, and much, much more. Call your neighborhood branch library for more information, or check out the complete children's program schedule in the print version of At the Public Library, published monthly by the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library and available at all San Francisco Public Libraries. The Main Library's free Thursday noon video series features Academy Award winning documentary films during the month of March. The series begins on Thursday, March 6th with Down and Out in America. Filmmaker and actress Lee Grant directed and narrated this compelling yet disturbing expose of poverty and homelessness among urban and rural Americans. 
This 1986 Academy Award-winning documentary is a truly prophetic look at our land of opportunity. Most of these people had a home in the early 1980s. The new street people are those who have been pushed out of the workforce and cannot find jobs. As economic devastation creeps upwards, those already at the bottom are pushed even further down. On March 13th, join us for In the Shadow of the Stars, a behind the scenes look at San Francisco's opera company and the exhilaration of being part of the glamour while singing one's heart out. This 1991 Academy Award winner was made by San Francisco filmmakers Irving Seraph and Ali Light. The series continues on March 20th with When Abortion Was Illegal, Untold Stories, a poignant oral history which weaves together the stories of desperate women and those who tried to help them. He did not give me anything. There was no anesthesia at all. And it was very painful, and I had no idea it was supposed to be painful. I thought maybe some, he had done something terrible, was doing something terrible to me. And so it was a frightening experience. That was frightening. Throughout the years of criminal abortion, an aura of danger surrounded unwanted pregnancies. Women drank toxic substances. Unscrupulous practitioners administered caustic douches of Lysol and Clorox. Reports of rape and other sexual abuse by abortionists were common. Also on March 20th, the 1977 Oscar winner for Best Short Documentary, number our days. A sensitive portrait made of a community of elderly Jews living in Venice, California. Director Lynn Littman shows their loneliness, their pride, their humor, and their dignity. Very beautiful today. Maury Rosen, the director of the center, has devoted the past 14 years of his life to this little group. Sometimes he is a son, sometimes a father, always an advocate and protector of the old people. He is with them every day, scolding, worrying, teasing, refereeing their battles, insisting that they continue, and he fights with the outside world for their survival. And finally, on March 27th, the Panama Deception, a powerful and provocative expose of Operation Just Cause. This winner of the Best Featured Documentary Award challenges the official rationale for the 1989 United States invasion of Panama. It uncovers evidence of tremendous devastation and gross human rights violations unreported in mainstream media. On December 19, 1989, while Panamanians were getting ready for the Christmas holidays, the United States was secretly mobilizing 26,000 troops for a midnight attack.
perhaps you've seen the movie, and now you want to know more about the subjects touched on. You've come to the right place. Here are just a few examples of books related to topics discussed in these award-winning documentaries. Stay tuned and we'll tell you how to find the books you're looking for at the Public Library. How to Find What You Want at the San Francisco Public Library is a free orientation and training program that introduces patrons to the library's online public access catalog computer system. The demonstrations given by staff librarians of the main library's Information Services Department present the basic steps in searching for books, magazines, and other materials by author, title, or subject. The librarians also introduce and demonstrate how to use the various databases that are available through the library's online catalog. The programs take place at the main library in the Corette Auditorium. This month, the How to Find What You Want at the San Francisco Public Library programs will be held every Tuesday afternoon at 4.30. And for those patrons interested in the Internet, the Information Services Department of the main library will present Internet Basics with Mark Webb an introduction to the Internet and how to use the Lynx and Netscape browsers. Internet Basics with Mark Webb will be presented in the Corette Auditorium at the Main Library on Thursday, February 27th and Thursday, March 27th with both programs starting at 6.30 p.m. Internet Training for Middle School Students Entertainment, school assignments, cruising and chats. Check it all out at the library. Call 557-4274 to reserve a spot in a hands-on class on Saturday, March 22nd at 1 p.m. in the main library. Or just drop in on Wednesday, April 16th at 4 p.m. in the main library's Corette Auditorium for a demonstration and on Monday, April 14th at 4 p.m. at the Bayview Anna E. Wadden Branch Library, another hands-on internet training. Internet training for teens, now at the library. Hi, I'm David Schwabe with At The Public Library News and Notes. With spring just around the corner, Now's a good time to get started on a backyard garden. Gardening in San Francisco's mild climate can be a relaxing, fun, and rewarding endeavor. And the San Francisco Public Library has a large collection of gardening books to help you get started. Here at the Bernal Heights Branch Library, I found some great gardening books for beginners, some gardening books for children, and specialized titles like these on growing bulbs and Japanese-style gardening. Not every San Francisco living situation includes space for backyard gardening, but there are options available. Checking in the library's San Francisco Community Connection database, I ran a keyword program search for community gardens and discovered SLUG, San Francisco League of Urban Gardeners, a community-based organization that supports San Francisco's network of community gardens. They also offer programs that teach city dwellers how to garden, compost, and enjoy a closer relationship with nature. SLUG maintains a demonstration garden on 7th Avenue and Lawton Street, which features displays specially designed for Bay Area urban gardeners. For more information on community gardens and other SLUG programs and services, call the San Francisco League of Urban Gardeners at 285-SLUG or 285-7584. I like to plant a variety of vegetables and flowers in my garden, including red onions, petunias, sunflowers, and Swiss chard. And today, I'm going to plant potatoes. A seed potato is cut into a one or two inch piece that contains two eyes. The piece is placed cut side down into the ground and covered with about two to three inches of soil. I'm told that potatoes do quite well in San Francisco. We'll see. This is a new gardening challenge for me. And speaking of something new, the Chinatown Branch Library completed its extensive remodeling and expansion project with the opening of a brand new computer lab last month. 
The computer center is located on the new mezzanine level of the Chinatown branch, which reopened last June after undergoing extensive seismic renovation and expansion. Donations of computers from Digital Equipment Corporation, software from Microsoft, and other generous community support through the Library Foundation helped make this computer center for the Chinatown community possible. Some of the programs available include children's grammar, spelling, and math titles, Microsoft Excel, Word, and Works, language tutorials for Spanish, Japanese, and French, and an amazing program that incorporates Chinese characters into Microsoft programs. Use of the computer center is free, except for a minimal charge for printing documents. And trained staff is available for assistance. Patrons must fill out a registration form and sign a contract agreeing to abide by the stated rules in order to become a member of the Chinatown Branch Library Computer Center. Hours of operation for the Computer Center are Tuesdays from 2 to 8 p.m., Wednesdays 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., Thursdays 2 to 5 p.m., and Saturdays 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Center is closed on Mondays, Fridays, and Sundays. For more information about the new computer lab at the Chinatown branch, phone 274-0275. The main library has a large collection of gardening books as well. For example, the Sunset series on gardening, put out by the publishers of Sunset Magazine, are a great gardener's resource. Here's one on container gardening, which is great if you have a small space. And here's the Backyard Vegetable Factory, super yields from small spaces. And here's my favorite, Give Peas a Chance, a great resource on organic gardening. There's been some moving of the collections at the main library. The audiovisual materials, video cassettes, CDs, and books on tape are now located on the first floor. The AV materials collection, which was formerly housed on the main library's fourth floor, was relocated to the first floor in order to better serve the patrons of this extremely popular collection. In addition, a few video viewing and audio listening stations are up and running with a limit of one use per week per patron. Language instructional videos are now located in the International Collection on the third floor, and the Children's AV Materials Collection is still available in the Main Library Children's Center on the second level. Besides moving the audio-visual collections to the first floor, the staff at the Main are currently busy shifting and moving the book collections throughout the building in order to improve the organization and availability of the collection. I'll have more on this next month. And that's at the Public Library News and Notes for this month. See you next time, and happy gardening. Now I'm going to go get started on these weeds. It's tax time again, so grab a pencil. We've got lots of information about getting your taxes done coming right up. The filing deadline is April 15, 1997, which falls on a Tuesday this year. The San Francisco Public Library does not carry tax forms, but stand by and we'll tell you where you can get them. For state tax forms, go to the Franchise Tax Board at 50 Fremont Street, 9th floor, Suite 900, Mondays through Fridays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And for federal forms, go to the Federal Office Building at 450 Golden Gate Avenue, room 5403 on the first floor, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Mondays through Fridays. For phone information from the state, you can call 1-800-852-5711 for information and assistance, or 1-800-338-0505 for state tax forms. And the number for assistance for the hearing impaired is 1-800-829-1040 or check out the website at http colon slash slash www.ftb.ca.gov for forms over the internet. For federal phone information, call 1-800-829-1040 for information and assistance or 1-800-829-1040. 3676. That's 1 800 tax form for federal forms. And for the hearing impaired, call 1 800 829 4059. 
In addition, you can receive federal forms by fax by calling 1-703-487-4160. And check out the IRS website at http colon slash slash www.irs.ustreas.gov for forms over the Internet. And if you need free tax assistance with your basic federal and state tax returns, it's being provided by IRS trained volunteers Saturdays at the following branch libraries. The Anza branch from noon to 3 p.m., 550 37th Avenue. The Bernal branch library from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. at 500 Cortland Avenue. The Excelsior branch library, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m at 4400 Mission Street, and the Western Edition Branch, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at 1550 Scott Street. And the Ortega Branch has free income tax assistance for senior citizens every Monday from 10 to 2. This program is sponsored by the American Association of Retired Persons. A look at exhibits this month starts at the Noe Valley Branch with Diorama Moonshine, a nocturnal landscape inhabited by tiny objects d'art, the second of an exhibition series running through May 31st. At the main library in the fourth floor exhibition area, check out the display on the history of the San Francisco Girls Chorus, along with information on auditions and programming. The Hormel Gay and Lesbian Center is featuring the exhibit Sappho, No Ordinary Housewife, now through April 30th. The exhibit pays homage to Sappho the Greek poet and is sponsored by the Sappho Project. And now through April 30th, in the sixth floor skylight gallery of the main library, the exhibit Workers, Unions, and the Community highlights the variety of resources available at the Labor Archives and Research Center of San Francisco State University. San Francisco, The Politics of Inclusion, on display now through April 30th in the Jewett Gallery on the lower level of the main library, examines San Francisco's robust tradition of dissent, protest, and reform. This exhibition was curated by William Issel, professor of history at San Francisco State University, and he spent over a year and a half working with library staff, especially the staff in the San Francisco History Center, to select items that illustrated his theme uh, about San Francisco history in the 20th century, particularly the, the movements in San Francisco from the labor movement uh, to the environmental movement, from the various civil rights movement to the disability rights movement that illustrated the political processes in San Francisco that have led to our reputation as a city of relative toleration. This exhibition is made possible by a grant from the Rockefeller Foundation with additional support from the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library and the California Council for the Humanities. Historian William Issel, curator of the Politics of Inclusion exhibit, will present a lecture entitled From South of the Slot to Soma, People, Places, and Politics in a Changing Urban Neighborhood from Gold Rush to the Present. The lecture will take place on Saturday, March 22nd, 1 p.m., in the main library's Coret Auditorium. Thanks for watching at the Public Library here on CityWatch Cable Channel 54. You can catch at the Public Library Monday mornings from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. and from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. Friday evenings from 8 to 9 p.m. and Saturdays from 12 noon to 1 p.m. See you next time.